has completely destroyed us. Until right, right. we walk around saying that we black and can care less about what our true nationality right, right, is. Until right. so we walk into the Christian church on Sunday, the Bible says the seventh day. Everything says the seventh day is Saturday, but people still go to church on Sunday. Why? Because they're completely destroyed. Right, right. right. Why you think um, they cut off Kunta Kinte's foot and roots? Y'all seen roots? Kunta Kinte was always trying to damn escape, That's always right. to rebel, because he knew he was a slave, he knew he was captive. That's right. That mentality was broken with those yokes of iron, to the point where we don't want to be free from that anymore. Right. What's going Bring on, my people? How you doing, brother? And hey, you got five seconds to listen to the word of God. You got one second, so come listen and hear this out. Read. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 21. What's going Bring on, my people? God got a question. Read. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. The so-called black, Hispanics, and Native American, you were planted a noble vine. Uh -huh. Read your royalty. That's how you was made. You were created to rule this earth here. That's Read right. Read again. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. You've been planted a noble vine. How you uh -huh. doing, sis? Sis, how you doing? What's your name? Terry, how you doing? Are you happy with the state of our people today? Why don't you hear this word real quick? Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 21. Bring it Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. The most High God said he planted the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans a noble oh, vine. Right. You're noble people. You have a noble spirit within you. Read. Holy a right seat. A holy and right seat. We were created to be holy unto God. Read. How then art thou turned? How then? The most High is asking. How did his chosen people, the greatest people on this earth, right. how did they do what? How then art thou turned? How then are they turned into what? Into a degenerate plant. Into a what? A degenerate plant. Oh, Look man. at our people today. How then have you turned into a degenerate plant? Yeah. Yeah. All we see from my people is straight up destruction. Right. We are not performing the acts that the Most High God created us to perform. Right. This is the service laws. Read. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant uh -huh. of a strange vine? Oh, a strange vine. What's that strange vine? What's that strange vine? Christianity. Right. That strange vine is Islam. That strange vine is not believing in God at all. Bring it out. That's madness. Give me Jeremiah 2 and 11. Bring it out. That's that strange vine. Read. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 11. Bring it out. Have a nation changed their gods? The most High God is asking, has any other nation on this earth changed their gods? Hey sis, how you doing? Has any other nation changed their gods? Has a Chinese man what kind of God does the Chinese man worship? What does his God look like? It looks like him, right? What about the Arab man? What does the Arab man God look like? It looks like him, right? What about the so-called white man's God? What does the white man's God look like? You see him over there, right? That same God that he gives to you. Read again from the top, though. Have a nation changed their gods? Has any other nation changed their gods, though? Read. Which are yet not no gods. Which are yet no gods. These other nations' gods, Buddha, Krishna, damn, Jesus Christ, the Christian, the white man, that's not a god. Yes. That is not a god. Read. But my people. But God's people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans did what? Have changed their glory. They changed their glory. We're the only people on this planet that worship a god that does not look like them. Yes. How the hell you walk up in the church and worship that thing? Right. And you... Put it under the guise of the Bible. When the Bible tells you that Jesus Christ is a black man. Oh, right. Right. Well, how the hell you worship that God did? Has nothing to do with the Bible at all. Read. But my people have changed their glory. We changed our glory. Our people don't even like the way they look. Right. Our women can't stand the hair that they're naturally born with. Right. Our men can't, change, can't stand the color of their skin. They don't even love their neighbor. Right. Right. They changed their glory. Read. For that which does not profit. And none of us profit in these churches then. Right. None of them religions we profit in as a people. We run the Islam and Egyptology. What the hell has that done for our people? Right. Talk about we conscious. You ain't conscious of a damn thing. Bring it out. You, you want to be a Hamite? You want to be something that, that God did not create you to be? Right. right. So what God are we supposed to be worshiping? What does our God look like that we're supposed to be worshiping? Look, listen. If you're waiting on Jesus Christ, the white man, to come back and save you, be prepared for more slavery. Be prepared right. for more bondage. Be prepared for that, because that's all we got. When they came over here, they came over here with a cross and the image of that, that white bastard right there. Right. Right. They told us to serve him or die. Right. Matter of fact, it's on one of these things. Where's that? What the 
fire is this right here. Who is this? Come closer. Check it out, sis. This is what they did to our forefathers, the Native Americans. They came over here with a cross. That's right. They tie in one of the Native Americans to a stake. Threatened to burn him alive if he did not bow down and worship the image of the beast. On That's him. right. Their image to make to make them worship them as a people. That's the Christianity that they came with. That's right. That's not the Christianity of the Bible, though. Bro, right. give me Christ, Revelations. We're gonna show you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans who your God is today. That's right. right. He's the God of Israel. He's only for you. Right. Let's read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Bring the out. revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is revealed in the Bible. So if you read it, you will understand who it is. Jump to verse 3, I think. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Do what? That readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. And does what? And hear that. I'm sorry. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. It says, blesses he that read it. You have to start reading your Bible, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Hey, That's hey. right. But you don't want to read. Read the damn thing. And you will get the truth. And the truth is going to do what? It's going to set you free. Right. Read from the top again. One. one. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Right. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that could care less what type of image he is because you'd rather worship the beast. Right. 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 Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Let me ask you a question, man. That picture of Jesus right there, is his head and his hair's woolly texture? And is it white? The picture of Christ right there that they give us in this church. We all seen it before. We seen it in the movies. We seen that thing everywhere. They got some pictures of that Christ in our Bibles. What the hell would they put that in the Bible when the Most High God is, is explaining what he looks like? The same words. Why? Because he know our people ain't going to read, man. Our people are not going to read. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read. That's white as snow. Uh huh. So that 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 is not on that picture there. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes was as a flame of fire. Why? Because he drank wine in moderation. Right. Christ was called a wine bibble by the scribes and Pharisees. You understand that? Because the brother drank wine, but in moderation. Read. And his feet. And his what? His feet. Is what? Like unto fine brass. His feet was like unto fine brass. Now what color is brass? It's a brownish, goldish, right? Read. As if they burned. As if they did what? They burned uh -huh. in a furnace. So if you take fine brass and burn it in a furnace, what color does it come out? It comes out very dark brown. A dark skin uh, man. Right. Jesus Christ was a dark skin man. That's, That's right. right. Let's get more proof of that, Daniel 10. Get more proof of that thing. Has the nation changed their gods? But my people have changed their glory unto, unto this nonsense there. When our glory is in Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's and right. the God, which is also a black man. We were created in his image. That's right. Right. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Uh -huh. Did I lift up mine eyes and look and beheld a certain man clothed in linen. So let's see who this man is. He said he, he looked up and he saw a certain man clothed in linen. Right, read. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of Uphaz. Uh -huh. His body also was like the barrel. Because he had a green garment on with a golden girdle. Right. Read. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Yeah, the face of appearance of lightning. Read. And his eyes were as lamps of fire. That's that, that's that red like wine again, right? His eyes like lamps of fire. Read. And his arms. His what? And his arms. His arms. And his feet. And his feet was what? Like in color. Like in what? In color. Who said color's not in the Bible? Right. Who said the Most High God could care less about color? Color is in the Bible. That's another lie that your oppressor taught you. That's right. They hold the Bible up, tell you some nonsense, and say the Bible says so. And we believe it. Why? Because we do not read. Right. That's we do right. not read. Read. And his arms and his feet uh -huh. like in color. Like in color to what? To polished brass. What? Polished brass. Polished brass. So what color is Jesus Christ? 
What color is Christ, brother? How you doing? Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. All right, Jesus all right. Christ, um, no, I'm saying so-called for a reason. Because our nationality is not black. Right. right. You understand that? We've been taught lies all of our life. I'm gonna ask you, what is your nation? What's your name, brother? Andre, what's your nationality, brother? You from Africa? The forefathers from Africa. Let me ask you a question. Did your forefathers come over here on slave ships? You believe he did, right? So understand something. Even though we were taken from Africa, if you if you can if you can identify with the curses that are written in this Bible, guess what? You're an Israelite. That's yes, right. right. You understand that? If your family went through that, the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites that the Bible speak of. Yes, right. They really try to tell you that these people don't exist anymore. Where's that? Uh, Ecclesiastes four. They tell you that these people don't exist anymore. They tell you that the Mayans are going away. Four, I think it's like the last verse. They tell you that the Mayans are going away, right? But the Most High God said there's no end to all the people on this earth. Yet. That's right. right. You understand that? You got it. We're going to show you that. That the Israelites are not going away. The Bible is the book of life. That's right. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 16. Uh -huh. yeah. There is no end. There is what? No end. No, no, no. The Israelites, these are fictitious people and they're done away with. Read. There is no end. No, the Mayans are done away with. The Mayans are extinct today. The so-called Aztecs. They extinct. There is no, no record of this. No end to what? There's no end of all the people, even of all that have been before them. So what is that saying? What is the Bible telling you? That there is no end. That same lineage is still on this earth today. Uh -huh. And our job as the prophets of the Most High God is to bring the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans back to who they are. Uh -huh. it's, it's high time that you wake Get that. Romans 13 11. It's high time that our people wake up out of sleep. And we're going to show you. We're going to prove to you without any shadow of a doubt that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Uh -huh. That's right. We're going to prove that thing to you. Read. Romans 13, 11. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring it out. And that knowing that the time. It says that knowing the time. Everybody worried about Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un. We worry about nuclear warfare. We worry about all this foolish. You see UFOs in the sky, but they still can't tell the time. They still don't know what time it is yet. Read it again. And that knowing the time. And that knowing the time. Read. That now. It is high time. Now it is high time to do what? To awake. To do what? To awake. To do what? To awake out of sleep. The so-called black man, you need to wake the hell up. That's right. right. Wake up. Wake up to what your nationality is, what your heritage is. Right. Why? Because when you wake up, that's what's going to prepare you. You ain't going to be worried about no damn nuclear war. That's you don't right. want that thing to come. That's right. Because you've done prepared yourself. Wake the hell up. Right. Wake up. There's no end to the people on the earth. Now you're asking how we know that we Israelites. How do I know that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, how do we know through the spirit of the Most High that these right. men right there that turn themselves to a degenerate plant are Israelites, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. yeah. But it shall come to pass. This is Moses, a prophetic book. This Bible is alive. You understand that? There's no words in this book that goes out void. Do you understand it? This Bible is real. It's bigger than what we think. No, right. Right. There's a spirit in this thing. Bring it out. Read. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. This was written thousands of years ago, way before any of the atrocities that our people have been through this current day is, is going through now, way before that. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Most High God is talking to the children of Israel. He said, if you will not listen to the voice of the Most High God, which is in this Bible, read. To observe to do all his commandments. Because we already established that the law says the commandments are only given to the Israelites. Hey, sis, you got a couple okay, seconds to listen to this thing. Read. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, okay. which I command thee this day. That what? That all these curses. These what? These curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses that's written in this book here is going to come upon the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans Good and time. overtake them as a people. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Verse 45. Bring it out. Moreover, all these curses. That's the same curses now, read. Shall come upon thee uh -huh. and shall pursue thee. These curses are going to come upon us and pursue us, read. And overtake thee. And overtake us. We're overtaking in these curses today, read. Right. Till thou be destroyed. Till we be what? Destroyed. Till we call ourselves black. Till we 
can care less who our enemy is. Dude, we can sit there and not raise our people and keep God's law. So we can stop to our people. Right. right. They can care less. Talk about our feet and my family. Read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we ain't listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read on. To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. You understand. We're going to bring some laws out a little bit later on as well. We are commanded to keep God's laws. Read. Oh, yeah. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee. Read. And they shall be upon thee. These curses shall be upon the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Read. For a sign. For a sign. And for a wonder. Go ahead. And upon thy seed. Forever! So everybody that you see dealing with these curses today, that's a sign telling you who the Israelites are. Right. Let's stand back. Like, give me verse 43. Let's see if, let's see if we can, what, what people this is talking about. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 40. Hey, how, you doing? how you doing today? Can we read something to you? Read. The stranger that is within thee. The stranger that is within thee. Because when we left out of Egypt, a mixed multitude came along with us. But that stranger, they were our servants. They were our slaves. Right. You understand that? Let's prove that real quick. 25 yeah. verse uh, 44. How do we turn into that degenerate, that degenerate plant? Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 44. Yeah. Yeah. That stranger that, that's within thee shall get above thee. Read. Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, mm. which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen of the what of the heathen it says both our slaves born men and born maid shall be of the heathen of the oh, other nation right. you understand that but they are our servants to go back to deuteronomy deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 43 uh -huh. yeah. the stranger that is within thee those same strangers those same heathens that was with us how you doing sis right. you doing all right what's your nationality huh? what's your nationality sis American? All right, all right, bring it up. Right. Now, what we're doing now is we're showing you through these curses that are written in this Bible that the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes. That's right. the curse right now. That's going to identify. And I want you, 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 and you to tell me what people this is. Read Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-three. Read. The stranger that is within thee. The stranger that is within us because we had slaves coming out of Egypt. That's there was right. a mixed multitude that followed the Israelites out. And the only way they could be with us is if they were our bondmen and bondmen. Right. Read. Shall get above thee very high. Those same slaves of the heathen, they got above us very high. Read. And thou shalt come down very low. He says, thou shalt. So that shows you that that's future prophecy. He said, we shall come down very low. Right. What people are on the lowest state right now on this earth? We are. Look at the bus stop. Let's see, look at the bus stop. That's all we got to go. Read. Verse 44. Uh-huh. He shall lend to thee. He shall do what? He shall lend to thee. When any one of us want a loan, where do we go? Do we go to our own people? Do we own the banks? Do we own the check cashing place? So, so who are these people that's lending to us? Esau, the Edomites, the other nation. Right. Right. He shall lend to us and what happens? And thou shalt not lend to him. We ain't owning a damn thing in this country. Right. We shall not lend to him. That's it. Read. He shall be the head. He shall be the master. And thou shalt be the tail. And we shall be the slave, the servant, right. the bond, the right. bond women. What nation of people is going through that right now? You, sis. What nation of people is going through that right now? Us, right? Let's get some more. Give me verse 48. Check it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. These curses shall be upon thee for a sign of who the Israelites are today. You understand that? Verse 48, read. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies. Therefore we're going to serve our enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. God you. sent the ambassadors against us. Why? Because oh, we did not keep his laws, statutes, and commandments. That's, right. That's right. right. We did not keep his laws. Read. That was given only to us to make us holy. Oh, Set right. us apart from other people. Read. In hunger and in thirst. When we need food or water, who the hell do we go to? We go to our enemies. That's right. Sharecropping. We had our own farms. And what happened? They took in their 90% of the profit. Right. They took all of it. Those are our enemies, man. For food, water, and what else? And in nakedness. And in nakedness. If we want clothes, who do we go to? Who owns the textiles? The enemy read. And in want. Hold on, brother. Stay right here. One second. I want you to hear this last one. And in want of what? Of all things. Anything we need. 
birth certificate, death certificate, damn. And we want to police our own community when you call the police, who comes? Who's over the police department? Our enemies, right? Read. And he, and he, that same enemy shall do what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy if neck. You was not con if you was confused about the first couple of curses and this one here for the wonder of all things, saying all oh, the soul, hey, the other nations go through that. Who did we read that again? He shall. And he uh -huh. shall put a yoke of iron. He shall put a yoke of iron. Read. Upon thy neck. Upon thy neck. Did this happen to any other people on the face of this earth? Us, right? He shall put a yoke of iron upon our neck until what? Until he until, have destroyed thee. Until he has completely destroyed us. Uh, until we walk around saying that we black and can care less about what our true nationality is. Uh, right. Until we walk into the Christian church on Sunday, the Bible says the seventh day. Everything says the seventh day is Saturday, but people still go to church on Sunday. Why? Because they're completely destroyed. Uh, right. That's right. Why do you think um, they cut off Kunta Kinte's foot and roots? Y'all seen roots? Kunta Kinte was always trying to damn escape. That's always right. to rebel. Because he knew he was a slave. He knew he was captive. That's right. That mentality was broken with those yokes of iron. To the point where we don't want to be free from that anymore. Right. But the Most High God predicted that we would be destroyed. That's why we see in the Bible here. Right. You understand that? So let me ask you a question. Just those two curses alone. Who are the Israelites? So what's your nationality, brother? Come here, check the sign out. You call yourself black, right? Black people are the so-called African Americans, right? Oh, so what does that tell you? What tribe are you from here? African Americans or what? From the tribe of Judah. So next time somebody asks you your nationality, you tell them, hey, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Oh, that's right. right! You understand that? It's not just a so what about you, sis? You're from the tribe of Judah, right? So oh, understand right. something, knowing who you are, that, that is gonna set you free. Right. But understand something. Understand something, that is going to set you free, but now we got to deal with some things that our people don't like. We got to deal with God's laws now. Right. Because we are told that all these things happen to us because we broke God's laws, right? Yes, so how right. do you think we're going to turn the things around? What is our way back as a people? How do we get back on top of where we're supposed to be? Yo. Keeping God's laws. Yes, right. It's not that difficult. You got all these black summits and rappers coming together yes, and everybody right. trying to figure out a solution. But none of them turn to the solution that's in this Bible here. Right. right. You understand that? Give me um first Kings 8. And then we, matter of fact, let me get a law real quick. Since you know you Israelites, right? Let's deal with some laws, brother. The Bible is coming out, right? Give me that in Corinthians. Because we, we be doing you a disservice if we tell you you guys chosen people and that you're Israelites. We're not telling you how to get out of the state. You know you're Israelites. Right. We're not keeping God's laws, it does not matter. Right. You'll be destroyed just like everybody else. Christ returns. Right. right. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. So read it now, now, yeah, read. now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things. Remember him in all things, read. And keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Keep the ordinances that Paul delivered unto the brethren. So we're bringing out some ordinances to our brothers now for our benefit. Read. But I will have you know. You will have you know that what? That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Jesus Christ. What color is Christ, brother? Right. Right. Christ is Judah. You guess he's Judah? Israelite. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. Let's get that real quick since you mentioned it. Don't want to go too many places, but we got to prove that thing. We want to show you that. Since you say you guess he's from Judah, let's show you that. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Go ahead. Yeah. For it is evident. Yeah, it is evident. Without any shadow of a doubt. Just by looking at this man, what? That our Lord. That our Lord Jesus Christ, what? Sprang out of Judah. That he did what? Sprang out of Judah. Jesus Christ, like you said, did come from the tribe of Judah. Right. And he is a, 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 a direct relation to the so-called black man in America today. Right. Right. That's Jesus Christ. Now read that again in Corinthians 11 verse 3. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah from the tribe of Judah, is our head. Right. As a so-called black man, as an oh, Israelite man. Right. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American woman, is the man. You, oh, right. you, you agree with that, sis? That a man is your head. All praises. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So right now you have the divine order. It's the most high God, Christ, man, women. Right. Understand right. that? That's the order that's set up. That's God's order. 
we go against that order. That's why you see the madness that we see today. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. When the word of God is coming out, any man that's in direct earshot of the word of God, praying or prophesying. Read. Having his head covered. Having his head what? Covered. Uh. Dishonoreth his head. Well, brother, you understand when you're listening to the word of God, you ought to take that hood off your head to honor Jesus Christ, the black man. That's right. Who's from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's right. So are you willing to do that while the word of God is coming out? Oh, All me. praise to the most high. Read on. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth. You, now you, sis, read. With her head uncovered. With her head uncovered. Honoring that, that order. You understand that? Be friends. I'm speaking the truth. Christ is going to reveal all things. You understand? Right. That head covering, though, to be on the safe side, I will cover the entire head. Right. You understand? I will cover the entire head and not have all that out. Right. Just, just to be on the safe side. So that's what you, yeah, I would do. I would do. All praises, sis. All praises. Give me, um, Nick Prentice. Give me Prentice. Give me another law, brother. Numbers chapter 15, verse hey, 38. How you doing, Bring sis? it out! Do you know who Jesus Christ is, sis? Sis, do you know who Jesus Christ is? Sis, if, if I was a Christian pastor, sis, you would stop and listen. <laughs> oh. I'm being serious if I was in the church. Well, I'm a Christian, honey. I, I am. Praises. I know so who all Jesus I'm, so is. You know who Jesus is? Oh, yes. So that's what we're revealing right now is who Jesus Christ is and who Christ came for. Right. So we're bringing out God's laws right now. So let me ask you a question. Which one of those pictures probably depicts Jesus Christ right now? Which one do you see? One of these guys? Oh, that guy over there. No, this is right here. One of these right here? Yeah. Now you saw that. You saw that, right? Yeah. And that's not her fault. That's not her fault. She was talking. Right. By the same people that put these jokes of iron upon our necks. Yeah, right, right. right. She was taught that. But sis, we're going to reveal Jesus Christ to you today in the Bible. Okay? Yo, that's right. We got to do it. We just did it for y'all. If y'all got a couple seconds, we got to go back through this, though. We got to get this out of our sister's head. So that right. we start serving you. The true Messiah that's going to save you and preserve us. That's right. Watch this. Give, give, give me Revelation 1, real quick. But I one and one. What Revelation you chapter 1, verse 1. Read. The I revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Get which up. God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Show unto his servants. You mentioned that you serve God, right? I do. You serve Christ, right? So, so guess what? Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. We're going to reveal Jesus Christ to show unto who? Unto his servants. To show his servants. What? The things which must shortly come to pass. The things which must shortly come to pass. This is Bible prophecy because the Most High God knew that his servants would not know the true image of Christ. And what God served. serve it. Right. Read verse 14. It Check it out. Verse 14. Check it out. Sister. His Listen head. Out. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Christ's head and his hairs. Woolly texture and it was white. Let me ask you a question. Is that on any of these pictures here? No, it's is not that on man? those pictures. All right. It's Check it out. It's not on all those pictures. Right. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. No, they don't even. They didn't even. They didn't even decide to put the red eyes on. That that would have been simple to make the whites of his eyes red because Christ drank wine in moderation, right? Read. And his feet. And his what? His feet. Let me ask you a question, sis. Your hands. Your feet. Is that the same color of your hands? Are your feet when you take your socks off or whatever? They the same color as your hands. And the same color as your feet. Well, mine's a little bit. Thank you, sir. Read. No, no, you got to hear this. Read. Read it anyway. And his feet. And his what? And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine bread. The most high God, right son, there. Jesus the Christ's feet was like what? Fine bread. Fine bread. Sis, you shouldn't you should stay here and listen to them. That sister does not, she she worships this guy here. That's, right. Right. that's a heavy, that's a heavy sorcery. That's heavy witchcraft on our people. Right. That she stood here until we got to the color. Right. That's madness, man. And she is destroyed. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. So Jesus Christ, again, Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. That's right. He had dark brown skin. Right. He did not look like this guy here. Right. And teach God so loved the world. That is not Jesus Christ. Right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.